this is Chelly. She's getting ready for her performance, her party, her Nescafe sunrise party with Hot 97 FM. I wish I could see you play one day. Uh, but, uh, Charlie, how's the preparation like? Uh, you know, like the feeling of going to study musical routine. Are you going to meet your family? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us about it. What's the experience like? Well, we're praying a lot that we can, like, that the borders will be open so that we can actually go. And mm -hmm. honestly, with this COVID thing. And so, Fountain View, we had actually had it from the pastor, uh, uh, pastor son here, who I'm okay. teaching now to play violin. And wow. yeah, so now we're living in the SDA mission compound. I'm teaching some of the kids how to play guitar and the ukulele and then wow. that one i'm only one student with for violin great you know you're a 16 year old music teacher you know that <laughs> <laughs> well, hi i know Charlie. how's the preparation like uh, please if you can give us um what's your advice to the youth of today who wish to learn how to play an instrument that seems is so hard to play like especially the violin like it doesn't look Well, two places I'd recommend. One, Irish School of Music in Mosby. And two, YouTube. Because everything is there on YouTube, so you can be anywhere and learn. And wow. like I said, it was very painful at first, but, you know, don't give up. And, and it, um, it's really good to, like, like, just to have a hobby. And then because of the fact that not many people in Papua New Guinea play violin then maybe like someday someday we can have our own official official orchestra or something whoa and you know what I will keep my eyes on you because I will know for sure that you will be the one leading that orchestra <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Charlie, by the way how much does the violin cost? Okay. Um, so this one we we got it while we were in New Zealand. It was it was about a hundred dollars there with three hundred Papua New Guinea. Yeah, three times. Yes, you're yeah. correct. You're very fast. Are you ready to play us your piece dedicated to Gianna, who turned four years old today? Gianna. Gianna. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, and I'd also like to send my birthday greetings to to Yai. I mean, to Gigi, of course, and to Yai, to Vivi and Mama Talks, whose birthday was yesterday, to Mama Oxy, who was the day before, and to my Mama Kamethan in Kokopo, whose birthday is tomorrow. So. Wow, a whole lot of birthdays lined up. So you're going to make it a really special celebration for all of them who turned another year older yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yep. Charlie Samoto, are you ready? Yes. Let's do this. After three counts, this piece is dedicated to Gianna. Three, two, one. Let's go, Charlie. Send a shout out to my big sister slash manager Loamina at Tininga Coffee Kai. 
to my mommy and to my little brother Bo and everyone in the Western Islands Mission family. Um, shout out to my daddy and his family. I mean, and the family <laughs> in Kokopo. To my mama and mamu at Backstreet. Babu at Gaira and my bubu dodo at Hohola. And to all the families and friends, Merry Christmas and God bless. Go for Sister Charlie, give her a big fan.